Hi, it's me, Chris Hughes, uh, bloke with the camera. Uh, once again, we are in the lovely Lake District. Uh, we're just at this over here, the slopes of Helvellyn. Um, we're going to do a short walk. I'm here today with uh, Lady Hughes and my son Elliot, who's behind the camera. Uh, we're going to be working our way down to Thirlmere. We're going to go along the banks of Thirlmere, and then you can just see a hill just in the distance down the valley there. That's Great Howe. So we're going to climb Great Howe, then cross the A591, come back along the slopes of Helvellyn there, back to the car park. Oh, it's a nice short walk today. Uh, hopefully going to try and get some great landscape shots. It is nearly October, it's late September, and the weather is stunning. You know, it's just gorgeous, aside from the odd midge, uh, which we're getting eaten alive, but it is just beautiful. Um, but there's not many clouds, there's a few wispy things, so it's not particularly great. I say this every time, no, it's not particularly great for landscape photography, but uh, it's just nice to be out, it's beautiful. So uh, really looking forward to this, it should be a nice walk. We will see what kind of photographs we get. I'm going to look for the, going to try and avoid trying to get the big vistas. Going to maybe look for details, especially when we're down by the lakeside, try and get a bit of, uh, well, we'll see what we get anyway. I'll talk to you later when we get down there. But um, if you like these videos, please press subscribe. It'd be nice to get the numbers up and then I can do more of them. Uh, but off we go. Quite like this shot here that guy's just stood right in the way and <laughs> ruining it but um, I quite like this shot I'm gonna wait till he's gone but see the boulders I've got two boulders on the floor there just by the lake they're nice creating a nice lead in I'm going to put them in the foreground the trick is because I'm the sun's coming from over there I don't want my shadow in the shot so I'm just sort of adjusting that that guy's settling in for the day isn't he but we'll we'll be patient um, so I'm going to try and get that I've got the camera set now to uh, ISO 100, I'm on F11, um, it's handheld because it's beautiful weather but what I'm actually going to try and do is a bit what we call focus stacking because they're quite close. I'm going to focus on the boulder and then I'm going to take a second shot focusing on the middle of the lake just there and then I'm going to try and merge those later so I get a bit of depth of field, I can sort of extend the depth of field artificially a little bit so see how that goes now. composition if you can see these sort of I love these sort of curved inlets here along the reservoir and the hills in the distance so I'm just trying to shoot that I've got my camera set to about f11 again at ISO 100 um, the trick is to try and keep your shadow out of the shot um, and just try and get a composition where I can sort of get a bit of the water and a bit of the trees but a nice clean one that's what I'm sort of aiming for here um, it's beautiful the way the light's catching the water and everything uh, and I like that progression but to get to it I've had to scramble right down these rocks here um, to get as close to the water's edge as I dare 
real ankle breakers. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Get a nice sort of progression of these little curved S-bends coming in at the bottom and then try and mirror that with the hills in the background. Yes, we made it to the top of Great Howe and beautiful views, it's stunning. A great view of the sort of back of Hell in there and over Thirlmere Reservoir, it's gorgeous. Lovely day, I mean look at the weather, it's incredible for uh, late September, it's amazing. So we're really blessed. Photography wise, I'm going to take a few shots here now um, and see what we can get. It's, it's a bit, uh, obviously great backlight from over there, the sun's over there, quite low in the sky now and it's a little bit hazy. Not much, there's a bit more cloud in the sky now, made it a little bit more interesting, but it's a bit high level sort of cirrus. But we're looking for picking out details. So I'm gonna, probably gonna do a few, maybe even of the road, a few bits on the back of Helvellyn. There's some gullies and gills and waterfalls and things. A little bit of texture, I'm gonna try and catch those. And um, maybe some little points, just little bits of interest. And I don't know, I'm toying with the idea of even doing a big pano, stitching together some things, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, but it's gorgeous up here. It's funny, great how, I've been up it once before, there's sort of two summits. We went to the back one first, which is great, but then you realise the trees are in the way, you can't see all of this. So you have to go down a bit and back up. Uh, but yeah, it's just beautiful. It's like midsummer, but it's uh, nearly October. So um, we'll take a few shots and uh, see what we can get.
that's it really for the end of today. Um, as you can see, the sun is setting right into my eyes right now, actually. Um, um, gorgeous. The light's probably going to get better and better, but we've got to get home back to Manchester. So that's it for us today. We've got lots of shots. So tomorrow I will start editing them and see what we've got. Um, hopefully I've got some good ones. Uh, beautiful day. The guide thing, the map says it's... Um, always says on these things this one says two and a half to three hour walk and we always double it so at the moment i think we're running about five hours because we keep stopping we keep shooting videos taking pictures things like that enjoying it really but it's just great to be out so we had a good time yes. mrs hughes ziggy zara elliot yeah it's been a great day and um, we've got a two hour drive back now depending on traffic but yes a good one until next time thank you goodbye